So here's something for My Little Pony collectors. Duet this and show the first My Little Pony you ever bought, your most recent My Little Pony, your favorite My Little Pony, your biggest My Little Pony, your cheapest My Little Pony, and your most expensive. So let's see what you guys got. All right, so my first pops for the new year are Garfield and Odie. So far on their boxes, they are the only two. Maybe in the future I want to see Nermal, maybe John, or a chase figure of him with a plate of lasagna. All right, so here they both are. Odie did come with a stand, but you see without it, he does stand pretty well. I guess mostly because he is, well, you see how I just knocked him over? He is top heavy because of his ears, so that's kind of why they included it. I picked up both of these from Walmart, which is super rare because Walmart usually doesn't have anything I like in the pop section. So when I do like unboxings, like right here on my dresser in front of like my little pop wall right here, people will most likely comment about the Star vs. the Forces of Evil pops. These pops were all released in 2018, so I'm not quite sure why now in like 2020 people are asking about them. I pre-ordered the main four through GameStop, but the Butterfly Mode Star is exclusive to Hot Topic. Here's what they look like outside of their boxes. So both Star and Tom have stands that insert inside their feet, while the Butterfly Mode Star has a special stand that inserts inside her back. Now I'm definitely not sponsored to say this, but I would recommend downloading their Funko app and following them on Instagram because they post a lot. I thought the brownies were already extinct. No, we just really hide out in the Ferrari fandom until the next generation. That's kind of our plan. Remember the fat man, Charlie, from Sally Face, who collected the little stuff? <laughs> and just below that, it says, Charlie, is that you? Um, what is Charlie doing here? <laughs> Charlie from Sally Face be like, Charlie, so here you are. <laughs> this reminds me of Charlie from Sally Face somehow. <laughs> If you don't know who they're referring to, they're referring to this guy over here, and he collects My Little Pony Funko Pops and what looks like, um, Five Nights at Freddy's, and I have all three of those. And depending if this video blows up, I will go ahead and do a cosplay with him, because <laughs> why the fuck not, right? Sadly, I knew this day would come, that this would be the last My Little Pony on the shelf. But I've already bought two of them. Alright, so I got a new, like, LOL OMG doll. This is Candylicious. This is by far... My favorite doll, like pastels, sweets, love it. This is my favorite doll so far. But you can look, her earrings are nom noms. And here's another thing, on the inside of her box, there's a la la loopsie and nom noms like printed on there. That's a, that's a cute little Easter egg. I love that. All right, so I went back to Target and I got another My Little Pony value box. <laughs> I thought I cleared off the shelf, but nope, there's one left. So let's see who we have inside here. This is my favorite part. Yes! Alright, so we got ten dog tags, two different sets of trading cards, and what looks like a little minifigure thing. Alright, so it took me nearly like 40 minutes to unbox everything, but I got 25 new trading cards, one new dog tag, this new minifigure, which is new to my collection, one new sticker, now here are the repeats. <laughs> ten repeat dog tags, 25 repeating trading cards, and ten repeating stickers. So if I'm talking value-wise, this was kind of a waste since, like, all these dog tags and stickers, but I got something new out of it. This little mini figure is, like, kind of cool. We even got toys making a hego faces. So I finally got one of the BMR 1959 Barbie dolls. Oh my god, this box is, like, it's like a shoe box. This is so cool to see. Look at this. And so far, like, to the best of my knowledge, at least, this is the first, like, Ken doll to have, like, actual makeup on. Look, oh my god, that is so pretty. He also has these hot pink painted nails, too. I can't get over that gold. That has to be, like, some Fenty Beauty in there. Also, like, this little lime green hair. This is so cool. I love this doll. And these platforms are so awesome. So instead of me unboxing some type of toy, plushie, doll, whatever, I'm going to actually do a little taste test because I saw this at Target. This is Bang. I'm pretty sure some people know already about the Bang energy drinks. This is Birthday Cake Blast. It says natural flavors. Natural flavors. Birthday cake. Natural flavor. Great. Um, I get how people can make birthday cake, ice cream, cookies, and 
I don't know what these kids do now. Jewel pods, whatever. But in a drink? I'm going to try and see. This. Oh, it smells like vanilla. It's clear, so. Oh! That literally did taste like some type of, like, vanilla cake. Oh, my God. I don't know how I feel about that. It's good. Like, oh, my God. All right, so I went to Target today, and... I might have got a few things. Put her finger down, brony edition. Put a finger down if you're obsessed with Wooden Toaster or The Living Tombstone. Put a finger down if you collect My Little Pony toys. Put a finger down if you own brony shirts. Put a finger down if you've ever gone to a brony convention. Put a finger down if Twilight Sparkle is your favorite pony. Put a finger down if Luna is your favorite princess. Put a finger down if you've watched the entire show. Put another finger down if you've watched the entire Equestria Girls series. Put a finger down if you kin anyone from My Little Pony. Put a finger down if you're a brony back when it was booming in 2012. Put a finger down if anyone's ever made fun of you for liking My Little Pony. Put a finger down if you've ever bought a custom-made pony. Put a finger down if you draw My Little Pony art. Put a finger down if you love Fluttershy. Put a finger down if you have a My Little Pony ship. <laughs> Put a finger down if you've ever watched My Little Pony YouTube poops. <laughs> Put a finger down if you've watched the pony MOVs. Put a finger down if you want to be my friend. Eee! All right, so I'm going to take another look at these poopsie, cutie, tootie, uh, little blind slime things. I don't know. It's a long name. I got this one because it's pink. It is so pretty. The instruction said you can either cut it open or you can open this tab down here. But let's be honest, which one is more fun? All right, I cut along the back and just, oh my God, it's like a giant glittery pimple. If only acne looked like this, I wouldn't want clear skin. For the slime, it's actually pretty good slime. It's like a little turquoise blue. This is pretty. All right, let's see who our glitter critter is. Oh, oh, it's a little unicorn lion. Oh, that, oh, that is adorable. So I got Pounce, and they're an ultra rare. And these guys are roughly the same size as an LPS. This isn't the most, you know, ridiculous thing I've ever done in my life. Not even close. Um... I've done something like this before. Like, some people want me to take this stuff off, but I know they're just looking for a reaction. Like, oh my god, it hurts so much. I, I do face masks nearly every week, so it's not that hard. Oh, great. They're coming off in pieces. I thought these things would come off whole. Son of a bitch. I work after this. Fuck. I take it back. I take it back. This is actually kind of painful. Underneath my eyes. Ow. 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 Ow, when it's close to the eye, it hurts. I have never had a face mask stick like this. Son of a bitch shit. Oh, fuck you, pinky. <laughs> if you made it this far, be sure to follow me on my Instagram to see me take the rest off there. I see a lot of people using, like, the color select thing on their face. I want to do it in my toy room. See, like, all the colors and everything. All right, so here's red. Okay, we got a few. There's a lot of red in there. Like, ooh, look at this. Alright, we got some yellow. I got very little green. Just, just the slime up <laughs> there, just chilling. Alright, we got a little bit of blue. We got dark blue, indigo, whatever this color is called. We got a, we got a quite selection of blue over here in the pops. Well, we got a good amount of purple in here, actually. Are we surprised that there's a lot of pink, actually? Lots of pink. And this is red on my skin, which looks all the damn same. I do got a little bit of, like, gold undertone. Just one more quick look at all of the pink I have in here. Alright, so today I'm going to unbox some My Little Pony Mystery Minis. Now, these are by Funko. These things haven't been made since, like... 2015 2016 these are all the characters i really want nightmare moon and chrysalis because they were sadly discontinued before they were made in the bigger size if you don't know back in the early days of the my little pony fandom these vinyl figures were like a staple in everyone's collection even i have the complete collection of the bigger figures 
Now, judging by the size, this one feels heavier, so I hope it's Nightmare Moon. She's my favorite villain. All right, so in our first bag, we got... Oh, we got Spike. Oh, that is so cute. All right, now who is this? Oh, it's Princess Luna. Oh, my favorite princess, and she's a solid color. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got her. All right, so here's a quick little size comparison. This is a little three-inch brushable. Here's Spike, and here's the regular Mystery Mini. But definitely out of these two, Princess Luna is my favorite. So here are some more random My Little Pony facts. Original toys of Princess Celestia were originally made pink because Hasbro knew the color pink would sell more for a princess. This wasn't fixed until Princess Cadence was introduced in the show, who was actually pink. Small little bonus fact, Princess Cadence color scheme design was pulled from G3 Fluttershy. If you haven't picked up on it till now, the Cutie Mark Crusaders are a direct reference to the Powerpuff Girls, mostly because the creator of My Little Pony, Lauren Faust, is married to the creator of the Powerpuff Girls, Craig McCracken. A lot of the names for the episodes are direct references or parodies of famous TV shows, books, or movies. Here are a few examples. Season 6, episode 19 is a reference to The Fault in Our Stars. Season 8, episode 23 is a reference to The Sound of Music. And lastly, Season 8, Episode 5 is a reference to Girls Gone Wild, and if you know that, I'm so sorry. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram if you want to hear more My Little Pony facts. I don't know why you're looking so happy. You got two cents left in your account, you dumb bitch. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. So I see y'all just letting anybody see, I in here. Hey, hey, hey. Don't y'all start that in here. Y'all, y'all better not.